finally, Terence's creative admitted that he actually cheated on his wife. So guys, if you ask me about Teres Creative and Edgo Barre, who is the more famous or who has more subscribers on YouTube, I'm definitely going to tell you it's Edgar Obare. For those of you who do not know Edgar Obare, he is a content creator actually and he has 34 point something subscribers on YouTube, while Terence Creative has 17 point something subscribers on YouTube. Just a few months ago, I think Terence Creative was the leading one, but of course he was engaged in this something that was so trending in Kenya and of course it was decided to uh, Edgar Obare who is also a content creator decided to talk about it and of course about like a few months ago Terence Creative actually cheated on his wife who is Mary Chebi she's also a content creator and of course Edgar Obare, Obare took it as an initiative and decided to do his FBI things to try and figure out actually what was on and of course people were saying these are just mere speculations nobody knew exactly what happened and of course Edgar Obare did not stop he went ahead and did the FBI's and everything he provided receipts and everything and of course everything was just pointing to Terence Creative that he cheated on his wife but of course he didn't come out to say no or yes about it and it was just kept quiet nobody was sure about it until just recently when Edgar Barry went to the length of even going to talk to the lady whom it is alleged that it was then alleged that Terence Kative actually cheated Mini Chebi with her and so Terence Kative was mad together with Mini Chebi they came together and of course the girl was exposed on Kilimani Mums she was exposed, exposed everywhere and Edgar actually thought it was not fair and of course when Edgar continued to, to talk about the issue Terence Creative actually went and used uh, the, the videos that uh, Edgar had used in his videos, the, the clips in it, he used it to, 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 to take his videos down saying that he had no copyright and of course Edgar's videos were taken down. So which makes me answer, ask this question because I've been asking myself and I've not had a perfect answer and I decided mm, let me do this video because definitely maybe you are going to help me with this. So he went and took his videos down and hmm, Edgar said and he made a whole video saying that that is something that he loves, something that he's been working so hard for it and Terence could not have gone for it. So it was fire upon fire because it was just a war that had been declared. So since a few months ago till now it's been a great war and of course Terence has uh, Edgar sorry has been talking about it and he went and even brought the girl who is Anita. She was on his channel. If you don't know, you can just go check it. I cannot link the video here because I don't have copyright and I don't want my video to be striked. So he went, uh, he, she was on his video, she talked about it and everything was cleared. And finally, Terence Creative admitted that he actually cheated on his so wife. This was after quite some time. He definitely, and uh, at the end, agreed that he cheated on his wife. So perhaps Terence Creative, when he took down Obare's video, he actually thought Obare, perhaps, he actually thought that Obare was naive and he didn't know anything about YouTube. You know, most of the times these content creators who are so much known, they tend to take advantage of the upcoming content creators thinking that maybe they know nothing about YouTube, corporate and everything. So they tend to take advantage of their fame to do such things. But then he just met something else. Edgar Obare is so clever and of course, as he talked, he had studied in the US. I am a fan of him actually, watch him and if you don't watch him, just go and watch his videos that you can get the whole team there. So he fought Neil and everything and he, we can say he won actually because nothing is being talked anymore. Anyway, going back to the next video, what Jesus family, for those of you who do not know them, just go to your YouTube and type, of course you're going to get their channel. They do their videos, they are a lovely couple in Kenya, of course, content creators and they uh, of course they waited, they've been living together and recently uh, uh, the wife got uh, pregnant and of course they had a baby and so because of their joy, actually their channel has really grown like mal uh, so fast like because uh, in the they started their channel, up, was it this year or the last year and so it's been growing so fast because of the love they are getting 
So, everybody has been talking about them, everybody supporting, and I remember them talking, sharing, supporting, and everything. So, everybody has been watching, supporting, and their videos have been even trending, and so they grew rapidly to 100k subscribers. Thank you, thank God, because actually, recently, like four days ago, they got a silver. The silver button for the 100k milestone and you're so glad for them congratulations for jesus family keep up and of course that is to encourage any of you who is about to give up just go on press on with that time you're not getting to shoot a video just press on so okay well jesus family and um there was just family had a baby and of course everybody was talking about it everybody was sharing about it and of course i won't even blame the content creators who talked about it because this is some of the ways to get people to get to know your page to get to know you so of course definitely everybody will want to talk about it so they talked about it content creators sharing them on their on their youtube pages and everywhere on their youtube channel story and everywhere so apparently what jesus family were pissed off about the whole issue and they striked the videos of those who were sharing the clips or whatever they are but delivery story, their delivery story, their birth videos and everything. So they were striking their videos. And of course the upcoming content creators were so mad. I'm gonna get the like of Martha Finest because I do watch her videos and some others who I do not know. And of course even the Edgar actually he also comes in the same picture because he came up to support them to try and talk about it. Of course I'll say definitely for those who would have uploaded the whole video of the one Jesus family man, most probably they would have done they did the wrong thing because that's somebody who started on their video, they cannot upload the whole thing. But then we ask ourselves, were they supposed to share the whole video or just a clip of it? Because according to most of them, they are saying even those who just shared clips, their videos were striked. And I will not say anything about it, just whatever you think or your thoughts, just comment down below. Do you think it was a good thing for them to share the clips, the whole videos, or were they not to share completely? And of course, we ask most of them again, they were to share a bit of it because Every time a content creator makes videos, they say subscribe, share, like, share, and you say share. So when somebody shares your clips and it goes to strike their video, hmm, what do you, what happens? So anyway, guys, I don't know what you think. Just put your comment down below. Do you think they were Jesus family now because they are grown, they are on 100k subscribers? Because right now it is over 100k. But now do you think because they are now grown, of course they are trading in Kenya. Every time they upload a video, do you think now they are taking advantage of their growth? to start like stepping on the small youtubers on the upcoming youtubers because they know they have nothing to say or perhaps nobody will notice about it but not knowing that actually people are coming up nowadays and they're so fresh and looking about everything that is affecting them so do you think they're doing the right thing do, do you think it's the it's good for them to be cooperating the statement or what do actions do you think they could have taken maybe to avoid that so I don't know guys, what are your thoughts? That is all I had for you guys this week. And of course I'm going to I'm going to come back with more videos. So just please watch the video, give it a thumbs up, and of course if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, just subscribe below and just the bell next to it. Click on it and make sure it turns on. And of course, once you're done with all, uh, all that, just comment down below. And of course, don't forget to share what you think about the whole video. Give me your comments. Give me your shares so that you can know whether or what we can do to help each other with all these situations. So thank you guys for watching my video. Bye, and I'll see you, and I'll be back with more videos.